In this video, we're going to take a look at the updates to the Checkout X platform, which helps take your WooCommerce Checkout experience to the next level. And most importantly, there is now a free forever version of Checkout X, which you definitely want to see. So make sure you watch this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress and earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. The new pricing we can see on the pricing page. And we see right here is a free forever plan. This is everything that's included in the free forever plan. And these things I've highlighted, they stay free forever. So in that regard, it's a free forever plan for these features. The only thing that's limited on the free forever plan is how many upsells you can do. You can do up to 1000 euro in upsells. There's a decimal here. I know in North America, you have a comma to the note thousands, but in Europe you use decimals. So this is not $1 American. This is a thousand euro worth of upsells that you can do on the free forever plan. And just to reiterate, when you have sold 1000 euro worth of upsells, that component won't work anymore in the free forever plan, but all of this will. You can still use the checkout, you can still use the buy links, the seamless payments, everything I've highlighted here, everything you saw in the complete walkthrough video I did a little while ago that I've linked to in the description down below, all those things stay free forever. It's just the upsells are limited to $1,000 on the free plan. But if you wanted to have upsells continue, you can get unlimited post-purchase upsells with either of the unlimited plan or the platinum plan. The difference between these two plans is just the percentage of upsell revenue that the company will take, and that's just of the upsells. So if you sell $100 worth of upsells, you pay $5 to check out X, which is not much for the service they provide, and it's that percentage of revenue that helps them grow their business and keep the free forever plan free forever. And then upgrading to the platinum plan is more per month, but then you only pay half as much for the upsell revenue. And once you're making a certain amount of money, this will make sense. You'll be paying less on the monthly fee than you are for the 5% of upsell revenue. So once you get to that point, you'll know, you'll pull out your calculator and you'll see it's cheaper just to go with this route and keep your unlimited upsells for a smaller percentage of your upsell revenue. Not only is that changed from the previous tutorial, they've also changed their split testing and the way their checkout process actually works on a website. So we're gonna sign up for the free plan right over here and check out how that all works. Let's click on start now. Then we just fill in our details on this form and then check this box and then click on create my account. Now we're gonna connect Checkout X to our website. And just so you know, we're not gonna go through all the details of your Checkout X account because I have a tutorial that goes through everything there is to offer on Checkout X is linked to in the card above and the description down below. I published that about a month or month and a half ago and that will take you through all the details. In this video, we're just gonna cover all the stuff that's new. So to see what's new, we gotta connect this to our website. Let's continue to the next step. Connect with WooCommerce. Gotta enter our website right here. And for this demo, we're gonna use this website right here. You have to make sure your site has an SSL certificate, meaning it has an HTTPS in front of it, like so, otherwise this will not work. So make sure you have that installed before you proceed. I have a tutorial on this channel, link to in the card above and the description down below if you need help getting your SSL set up. Then click on Connect Checkout X. Now we have to prove that Checkout X likes to connect to our store. This is all the stuff that we'll do in our store. Click on Approve and then they will be connected. And I go through this entire checklist to making sure all this stuff works in the previous video. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off screen so that we can preview and publish our cart to see how the cart changes look. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. I've run through that checklist and now I'm gonna show you the new features with the upsells and some other stuff that's newly released with Checkout X. We see some data populated here already. I did some testing earlier on this account and we see right here is how much upsell credit we have still remaining. Currently, 9.79 and 6 cents and that's in euro. So in American dollars, that would be even more because the euro is worth more than the American dollar at the moment. And so once that runs out, on the free account, you can't use the upsells anymore, but you can still use everything else on the free forever account. So next let's create an upsell because that's completely changed from the previous walkthrough video. So let's go to upsells and we see data populated here because of testing I did earlier. Click on create new upsell and we see the UI is different. If you watched the previous video or if you've used Checkout X before, you'll notice this UI is different. It's much more streamlined and easier to use. First, we had an upsell trigger. This is what triggers the upsell. That means if someone buys the specific product or a product from a specific category that we add right here, the upsell that we define below will be shown to them. So let's click on add product. 
Let's use the water bottle. These are pulled in from WooCommerce, from our website that we integrated. So you don't have to worry about adding these. These are pulled right in from your site. Click on Add Product. You can add more than one product here if you want. You can also add categories. They do not recommend that you mix categories and products as triggers. So either use only products or only categories, one of the two. Let's add upsell title here. Let's call this upsell test one. And this title will be visible on the upsell page itself. So you wanna make the title something that sounds better than upsell test one, but we'll just use it for the purposes of this demo. Make sure you title it appropriately on your site though. Now we have offer number one. We can also add offer number two, offer number three. So we can have three different upsell offers, but not more than that. Because beyond that, it starts to get cumbersome for the customer, which we don't want. So let's click on select product to upsell and let's add the yoga block. Click on add product. And now our upsell flow for the water bottle is done. When someone purchases the water bottle, they will be upsold to the yoga block. We're not gonna add additional offers, but it's really easy to add additional ones. Just click on here, select a different product that you haven't selected yet, and that'll become the upsell right there. If we have this toggle to green, that means when we click on create upsell, it'll be created. So let's do that. Create upsell and this upsell is live. You can see data about this upsell up here once you start selling some units. We can also see a list of our upsells on this page right here. Let's create another one. And we're gonna tie this upsell to the same product. So we're gonna click on add product. We're gonna click on add yoga water bottle. Let's make this upsell test two. And for the upsell offer, let's add the yoga mat. And you're probably wondering why we just added an upsell to the exact same product. We had the yoga block in the previous upsell for the water bottle. Now we have the yoga mat. The reason is these are gonna be split tested. Because we have the same trigger, the upsell flow that we define here is going to be alternated between customers. So you can see which ones get the higher conversions. So you could have a whole order flow here. Or if you have two offers, maybe put the yoga block first, yoga mat second for one, yoga mat first, yoga block second for the other. And you can test them against each other, A-B split test them, to see which ones end up making you more revenue. That's one of the huge benefits of using Checkout X is having the split testing capability. Click on Create Upsell to create that one. Now we have both of our upsells created. We see them right here. And like I said, these will be split tested because they're associated with the same upsell trigger. You can have more of these as well. So you have the yoga bottle associated with many different upsells and then you can see which one sells the most. If you click into any of these, you can see specific data, conversion rates, times shown, times purchased, amount purchased. And so you can see which one makes the most revenue and then ideally you'd use only that one in the future. So to show you how this works live on the site, let's go to the WP Speedify website and click on shop and then add the water bottle to our cart. Click on view cart. This is still a WooCommerce page right here, this cart. When we proceed to checkout, it's gonna take us to the Checkout X checkout page. This checkout page is hosted on Checkout X. We can see the URL up here. There was subdomain wpspeedify.checkoutx.com. You can make this a custom domain inside of Checkout X if you want to. And this is also highly optimized. Checkout X has a lot of data that it collects from all their customers anonymously, so they can see which types of changes to a checkout form are gonna produce the highest conversions. And they're also mobile optimized. So we switch to mobile, we see the page looks great on mobile and it works great on mobile as well. So they're mobile optimized, they're actually a mobile first company that focus on mobile because they found that most sales come from mobile. And because they want you to sell as much as possible, they focus on making mobile awesome. We're just gonna fill out this form really quick and then test purchase this product to see how the upsells work. And then click on pay whatever dollar amount it says here. And now we have the yoga block show up, which is one of the upsells we defined. And this is at random. The next visitor might see the yoga block or they might see the yoga mat, depending on which one Checkout X chooses at random. And so you can split test and see which one creates higher conversions and more revenue for your site. Also important to note, once we're on the upsell page, the first order has already been processed. That order cannot be canceled. If they close out of this page right here, that order still went through. If they order from here, it will just add this yoga block to our existing order inside of WooCommerce. So I can choose to add this to my order. You can also customize everything on that upsell page as well. You can do that by following along in the other tutorial.
that I keep referencing because that one is the complete walkthrough. This is just the updates. Now we're on the order complete page. Here it shows what we bought and we can click on continue shopping. It takes us back to the website. We can go back to the shop and then keep on shopping if you want to. Another update that was highly requested is when we order a product and then buy an upsell, WooCommerce now merges those two products into one order in the back end. I'll show you what I mean. If we head into the dashboard of our WordPress site and we go to WooCommerce and orders and we click on this order right here, we have the yoga water bottle and the yoga block all in one order. Before this update, just a month ago, or just even just a few weeks ago, these would be two different line items in your orders. You'd have one order for a water bottle and the same person, same detail, same address, same everything would have a second order for the yoga block. And now they're merged into one, which makes your life as a shop owner way, way easier. And the checkout X checkout page and the upsell pages can be customized as well. To do that, we head into the checkout X dashboard and then go to configuration and then customize checkout. This is where we can customize some things on that checkout page. If you're not sure which page I'm referring to, it is this one. I'll click on preview checkout. And this is the page I'm referring to. So you can customize things that appear on this page, on this page. You can change the money format. You can change the store logo, favicon, add security badges. You can change colors on the page. You can add links to legal pages. You can require a phone number to check out if you want, require an address number in an address field, by default, the pre-check email marketing checkbox is checked, which allows you to collect their email address and then send them abandoned cart emails if they don't follow through with their transaction. You can do that right through Checkout X or integrate with another email service that you use. I go through that in the walkthrough video. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in that. You can add specific sections, click on add section and then press the down arrow. You can change the title, add an icon and add text to the section. You can add multiple sections if you want. You can delete sections by clicking on the garbage can. In the thank you page section down here, you can add HTML content to the thank you page. This includes things like pixels from Facebook or Google ads or whatever other ad network you want to use. If you're not sure the thank you page is, click on preview thank you page. And this is the one we saw right after we finished our checkout. So this is the thank you page that appears after someone has paid, after someone's totally checked out, then we can add our pixels right to here. Sorry, right to here. Or if you want an even easier way to add the pixels, you can go to integrations right up here and we can much more easily add Facebook ad pixel, snap pixel, Google analytics, Google ads with conversion events, Google tag manager, Pinterest ads tag, as a meal remarketing and more, which is much easier through here instead of on the thank you page where you have to use HTML. Here you can just log into those accounts and have them integrated much more easily. At this point, the upsell pages cannot be customized very much. Let's go back to the upsells here. Let's just open this one. Let's click on preview upsell. Most of the information here is pulled in from your WooCommerce product page. For example, the description, the name, the dollar amount we can change inside of checkout X. And this will want us to change too. This is not for our own purposes. This is actually on the title of the page. So you want to have this be special yoga mat offer. That sounds way better. We have a good title and other thing we can customize is the pricing. You can change the price by clicking the pencil here. You can change the prices. So that's the extent of the customization we have available to us on the upsells right now in Checkout X. Next up, check out this video right here, which is a complete walk through the Checkout X platform. If you like what you saw in this video, make sure you watch that one. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in the WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.